I'm so glad and grateful to God for giving me yet another moment to talk to us about a very important series uh, of episodes that I have been doing about independent woman, uh, an independent woman and uh, the independence itself, what it takes. I have already done two videos, I've done two episodes. If you haven't watched the first one about what is an, uh, an independent woman or what it takes to be an independent woman if you haven't watched the other series about uh, how you can become an independent woman please click on the links go back and watch and see where we started and today i brought another one another episode of an independent woman and today i'm trying to compare the independent woman and the independence of a woman and the society does the society perceive an independent woman positively or negatively? What is the relationship or the association between an independent woman and the society? I know you don't want to miss that. Men have not left you out. Please drop a comment and uh, let me know about this kind of episodes that I've been doing. Trying to make us have a New Year's resolution and ensure that we are independent because I'm sure even men, all of us, want to be independent so welcome back to the channel and sit back take a cup of tea if you like such topics if you like such videos why don't you give it a thumbs up why don't you subscribe and why don't you drop a comment and let me know what you think about independent women and women and the society i'll be back So welcome back. I hope my audio is clear, though there is a lot of uh, shaking because I am just using my my camera handle. I don't want to to uh, to take the video, and I will hit the nail on its head. What is the relationship between an independent woman and the society? What association does it have? How do they perceive independent women, or how does the society treat an independent woman? And I got this, like I've been saying, I've been doing a lot of research on being independent. It's something that I've been working on. And uh, just a minute. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back and uh, subscribing and for those who have subscribed. And yes, we are talking about society and independent women. And I got this information or I've been researching on independent women from the idiva.com. I have done, this is the, the that episode about independent women. I have talked about the tips on how you can become one and what is independent woman. And now I want us to talk about why uh, the things that strong independent women do are ironical to the society. Because if you come from the African Society, those things are really changing. Those who come from the African communities, you're going to be a me witness that it has been the norm of that women belong to the kitchen, bearing children and taking care of the family and their husbands, and those things are changing. And what I'm going to talk about and uh, the research that I have done may not apply to your community, so it's not across the board. 
And so in most communities, it is said that independent women and strong women are ironical. What they do is ironical. But there is a plus, there is a positive thing about, there is a progress, of course, about the gender equality, gender and equality. There is a progress, so much is going up. If you look at it, if you're watching from our country, Kenya, those who are watching from outside, uh, Kenya is a country in Africa. If you look at our political, uh, if you look at the political side of our country, you're going to find out that we have so many women who are vying in 2022 elections and we have so many governors, we have so many MPs, we have so many members of us National Assembly, and so somehow, somewhere, this thing of uh, the great things that independent and strong women do are somehow getting out of being ironical. And so these women, for them to become independent and strong, uh, independent women, and especially on the pro political side of it, you're going to tell me that they live their life and they have to fight day in and out for them to become independent. So before you start saying that that woman is very rigid, before you start saying that that woman is very proud, before you start saying that that woman is very high-headed, think about what they have gone through for them to become that independent. Know that they have become rigid because they are fighting their side, they are fighting their status, they are fighting their independence, and their society is also fighting them. Actually, I need to put it like this, that these strong, independent women are used by the society, not again across the, uh, the board, but it's most of the communities is that these women are used as a dart board. And so many darts are put on them. So many biases, they have to go through so many biases, they have to go through the, so many laboring, they have to go through so many things and called names and all that. I'll give an example of a specific woman in our country, Kenya. I've said Kenya is a country in Africa, continent. It is a country that had a very peaceful elections in 2022, right now we are 2023, 2022 August. And uh, there's this woman that I really admire and people have already labeled her to be an iron woman by name Mother Karoa. And uh, this is one of the strong women and independent women who is a no-nonsense. I know you may disagree with me. But for her to reach the status where she is in, she has really fought her way in a patriarchal society. Sorry about that. Something was popping up because I'm using the camera of my phone. And so she has really fought um, to make her own money, to wake up when she wants. That is a, a, an example of an independent woman to sleep when she wants, to live where she wants, to make her own rules. She's strong and independent and she doesn't fit in the society just because of the prescribed stereotype of what a woman should be in a society. So you will bear me with it sometimes back is that politics was not for women. Uh, somehow I somewhere admire the white countries where women have come up. Our African women are also coming up in polit politics. And so this strong independent woman makes her own rules. The society does not make her make her own rules. So yes, the woman that you look at and think, thinking that she's living a life of her own, in her own terms, is actually fighting all the time. Another good example is Alice Wahome, who used to be the MP of uh, Muranga Kandara. You can uh, drop a comment and let me know. Uh, she's now the CS of Water, that is Cabinet Secretary again in Kenya. She's another woman that I admire, very independent with her own rules, with her own likes. And she's also been labeled just because she's strong. She's told that she's, she's high-headedness, uh, high-headed. And if I can remember the first time when she became an MP of Kandara, please correct me. That is in Muranga County. Correct me if I'm wrong. Alice Wahome 
when she was campaigning for her first campaign for her to become an MP, I remember the day before the elections were done, there were inner wares that were brought. There were some condoms that were produced and uh, with her picture and she was ashamed, but she never bowed to that. So these independent politicians, these independent CEOs, these independent women that you see on high jobs, on high businesses, they have to fight and they have to pay. They have paid for their independence and this means giving up a lot on their unseen sins or behind their unseen sins. The other thing is about the independent woman becoming, the things that they do becoming ironical to the society. And I give for example a woman who is unmarried because of choice. You forgo relationships, you forgo getting married, you forgo getting children to develop your own career you move out of your parents house on your choice and you're actually fought by the society look at it like this you have gone through your education performing on your career and you for forgone as a woman getting married and getting children and the society will judge you rudely the society will say that there's something wrong with her if it is a man, of course, the society will say that there is something wrong with him. In this, these women have most of the time to fight their own, for their own, in this patriarchal society and what the society itself has laid for them. So you have to fight for your own because the society doesn't want these women they are being judged although things are charging they are changing i have said that they are used as a dart board you are judged you face judgment as the darts you use by you are biased against you are rebelled and so many darts come your way another example is when a woman chooses career and independence as her priority you are automatically said that you are wrong and there's something wrong with you. And you are high-headed, you are too strong, you are too rigid, you are too hard on yourself, you are too strong for yourself. As a woman, you're not supposed to do that. And so, guys, change your attitude towards some of these women. They are not rigid. They are only protecting themselves. When Martha Karoa... Uh, who I admire most as a woman, when she decided to become um, a vice president or a number two for the the presidential candidate then in 2022, you know him, there are so many names that she was called. She has no husband. She's not married. I don't know. She did this to the husband. I mean, guys, you don't have to judge independent women, women by what they are. We should take this notion in the society. It starts with you. It starts with me. For these women to reach where they are, they have fought their way. They have fought through men. They have fought through women because, remember, women, we are also enemies of ourselves. And so our aim for all of us is to be independent and we have to be supported. You have to be supported even in offices. Where women are leaders, they also face all made sort of things just because they are independent. And I've even heard people comment and saying, I cannot be ruled by a woman. Women are human beings. Women are your mother's men. Women are your mother's women. And so let us support women and let us change this notion of being independent and the independent things that strong and independent women do being the opposite of what the society or the irony of what the society wants them to do. Have I educated you? Are you going to fight your way out? Are you facing some problems in your offices, in your companies, in where you are, do you want to become a politician? Fight your way out. And I know if God has purpose for you to be up there, then you have to be up there. So let us purpose or purpose to support each other and to get where we want to be. And let the society change with you because change begins with me and you. 
has it educated you do you like such stuff do you like such educative and informative uh, videos let me know drop a comment and tell me the next topic you want me to talk about as i do this um episode of uh independent women and do like and give some thumbs up give us a like subscribe and shalom